like I said, <laughs> that's a lot of money to come up with one time, you know, and then you not count Christmas, you know. I don't know what it is. Insurance company, controlling company, soon like everybody thinks it's Eastern Kentucky. Everybody, the richest people in the world in Eastern Kentucky, and they're not. So, you know, I just wanted to voice my opinion on it. I'm against it, and I'm sure probably everybody in Martin yeah, is, yeah. but according to the turnout, it don't look that way, but I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of people. But, well, uh, you, you know, I know there's other ways to come up with the money somehow. You know, it's just like three and a half million dollars, you, you know, where is it at? Nobody knows, right? The federal money, the three and a half million dollars that you the was talking money? about, trying to find out where it went. Yeah, the stimulus money was, well, was spent on what? You know, somebody knows where that money's at. Well, let me say this, that... Yeah, I'm sorry, yes, but I have a hard okay. time here. Okay, I, I understand. Uh, we had no way to pay our obligations to our teachers. Uh, the the you know, percentage thing that they get, they, that we're bound by, you know, we have to pay it. Their, 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 their percentage increase, is that correct, you know, Mr. Meadows? Well, you're not bound by percentage increase. <coughs> you're not, the only standard that you're bound by is the state minimum wage salary scale for certified personnel. And most districts, including Martin County, are well above the minimum salary schedule for certified personnel. Uh, I think what you say you might say is that people of Martin County, the average uh, salary is above minimum wage. I'm right? sorry. How, how are you coming up with the average pay per person in Martin County no, we're talking about that above minimum no, wage? No, we're talking about the teachers. If I heard you right, is that what no, you said? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I have a hard time hearing. You say the teachers. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I'm right closer. Here. Yeah, that's I'm all right. Sorry, I'm right. He said the teachers. Oh, okay. The teachers classified work. Oh. For certified personnel, the state has a minimum salary schedule that a district must pay their certified personnel. Okay. Most districts, if not all, I haven't looked at the data, but I do know most districts, and including Martin County, is well above the minimum. The minimum salary schedule for certified is quite low. So we're well above that. So there's no requirement to provide an increase to any employee. And in fact, if the board wanted to come in and decrease, they could. Well, I, you know, like I, I, I'm not against anybody getting rights. Teachers, you know, janitors and stuff, they deserve it. They want to call it, you know. But, you know, if you, you know, people can't afford to pay that kind of tax when we're already taxed to death, you know. To me, taxes ain't nothing but extortion. Leave yeah. story. That's yeah. all it is. You know, if you really think about it, you know. Uh, well, well, the federal, well, the federal government has removed 5% of our funding, right, due to sequestration. They still want us to do the same thing that we're doing, but they're, you know, they're drawing back money. They're basically... Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's hard to drop blood out of the I know. know what I'm saying. I know. I know. And I'm the one that made, I'm the one that made the original motion to, you know, we can go up to 4%. And uh, I saw it as a, the only means to pay our teachers. The only means to do that. And okay, and let me say this. And I'll say it. I'll say it. What's our raise basically going to cost about, you know, for. Okay, I heard, you know, $217,000. Is that, is that, okay, what, what would it cost to give our. Teachers are raised. With Francis, one second. Huh? With Francis, around one second. Okay, one second. Okay, $170 million. <coughs> That's how much more we need. The past four years, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get mad, get mad. Right, that's it. That's yeah, okay. Raises, right? But I'll pay it. I'll say it. One person in this school district. Salary was increased for a four-year period that would more than double. Oh, I guarantee it was administrative too. Yeah. You know, no, no, it wasn't administrative position. But this school district paid over fifty thousand dollars more per year for for this salary for the last four years. That gave us two hundred and some odd thousand dollars. 
that would pay the teacher's raise. And we wouldn't be at this meeting. We wouldn't have to raise your taxes. Right. And my taxes. I, mean, it, I, I understand you got to pay taxes too. But, you know, on the other hand, you know, because of what the last administration and what done, you know, that's not my fault. I know. You know, and it's not my fault. I shouldn't have to suffer because of what they done. You know what I mean? Let's think of other ways to get them to raise money. Well, for one thing, they had a Board of Education also or didn't pay a dime or ring it on it. What are you paying down here? About $1,800 a month? Well, hey, there's $1,800 a month. Times that times 12, what you come up with? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you can't live above your means, you know? Yeah. Can I, can I, I mean, I understand. Like I said, I really do, Gary. I understand. I, 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 you got to have, 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 have money to run a business. Yeah, you know and I, hate I hate it. But, you know, you know, it seems like every time we turn around, we're, you know, it seems like every time we turn around, our taxes are being raised. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're going to save up taxes. Yeah. What do we get? You know? uh, on, on a $100,000 assessment, I think I talked to Tammy, you know, a $100,000 assessment is going to increase your tax about $48 a year. Well, well, about $48 a year on, on $100,000. Yeah. 4% of $100,000 is $48. No, you're gonna, no, your tax bill is going to raise. Forty-eight dollars over what it was last year. Okay. We got someone else. Okay. I respect opinions. I mean, I'm not against people's opinions. Uh, first of all, I want to recognize the school board for all the, the work that you've done. Our administration. I'm a father of two elementary students and a middle school student, and I really appreciate the work that has happened over these last few months. I know it's been very, very difficult, uh, but I've been able to see the difference in the school as a parent. Uh, under previous administrations to what we have today. I'm very grateful for the administration that we have, and so I want to thank you for that. But I want to speak in favor of the tax, uh, because uh, if we are going to invest in our kids, we need to invest in our kids. And I pay taxes like anyone else does, and uh, I I'm strongly for that. And with three kids, we give a lot to the school as far as the supplies that they need. More and more supplies every year come in on a list. But uh, I want to speak in favor of that because I think our kids deserve that. And uh, our teachers do. And I appreciate the work that they do. And so I just want to recognize that today. Well, I mean, that's, you know, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to see. I don't have children in this school system. So, but I still have to pay the tax, you know. And you guys are doing a good job. And I mean, I'm glad, so, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you, you know, yet. But I, you know, it's going to take me about two years to figure you out. I hated it. I mean, let me say, I hate it. I mean, I hate it. It, it. It's a thing of, you know, you come into a situation, and I can't change what happened in the past. Okay, just like this award no, I, I understand that. I, I, I can't. I know you can't change. I can't do it. And see, so you're thinking about it. It's, it's, you know, my, it's, just, it's my fault, according to the auditor. Yeah. Because you I have proof. Uh, I mean, it's you know, it's, 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 it's uh, taxation without representation. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> you know? And I'm not saying you guys are not going to represent us right. I know you are. And I know you guys got great taxes. But, you know, like I said, you know, there was three and a half million dollars of federal money. You know what I mean? Well, what I'm hoping is that. Can you find that? You know what I'm saying? Well, thing Maybe I'm you can find who got away with that. Maybe we can get three and a half million back and not have to raise the tax. Well, the stimulus money went, from what I can understand, to build what the additions and things are. I, I, uh, Is there any further discussion from the board? I don't. Okay. Thank you. 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 Well, I, you know, I can understand, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a lot of money for, you know, I'm saying for some people to come up with. You guys are in red, well, you know, when you start raising taxes, you put us in there. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if there's no further discussion, but you guys want to do the board board. anyway, so it ain't matter, but I just want to come voice my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Well, what I'm hoping is that we can manage our way out of this to where next year active taxes can be lower. I mean, yes. I, I, I'm well, serious. Gary, I'll be honest with your buddy. Every time you know on taxes, they never go down. They always go up. You know what I'm saying? I need a motion. And I'll say board. probably four years from now we'll be sitting right here having the same discussion. You know what I mean? If there's no further discussion from the board, I'd like a motion to rescind. You know, I bring the guy let him spout off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, we do. Like I said to me, you know, it's just. 
and I and, and it's I just, it's and just I don't and I, and I don't blame you. I mean, I, I don't blame you. Kind of no. tough. Very much. Well, thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I need a motion from the board to uh, rescind the proposed tax rate, which was set at sixty point three, uh, reducing it to sixty point two. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. I need a second. I'll second. Motion second. I'm in favor. Any people say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is uh, discussion oh, and possible approval on facilities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my, my advice recommendation to the board is to uh, contact architect uh, Mr. Mike Sparkman. I'll work with him. Uh, I believe that uh, for him to uh, investigate the possibility of uh, the demolition of the academic portion of the old Shelter Park uh, School and keeping the existing gymnasium, if feasible, and uh, determine the cost that uh, that would incur on board to renovate the existing facility. And further, I'm going to bring, my, bring a picture into more clarity here. I believe that the district should pursue that option of either de de demolishing the entire facility at the old Shelby Park complex, building a new gymnasium, bond with using the bond potential that we have, which would not exhaust everything, or demolishing the academic wing, if possible, to renovate the existing gymnasium to bring it up to code and to ensure its safety for occupancy. I believe the, the vision or the positioning our schools for the future of Martin County with what we have available today is three to five years for uh, a new facility, a turnkey facility that would include a new, a new gymnasium. So I would recommend to the board that uh, I would be able to contact the, the architect <coughs> get a feasibility study on the existing structure of Shelton Park High School. The cost, as, you, as I shared, is going to be around $6,600. Do we have a number of what's going to be the high school where it is now? Do we have that number? There is a, the local facility plan that exists that was conducted uh, two years ago, I believe, uh, was <coughs> around $7.5 million to renovate that building to turn it into a high school. That's what's on the books right now. But I need now. to get as far as right now. I mean, you know, like you said, the science lab and, and like cafeteria. Yes, it's about a million dollars. Uh, uh, to do what we need to do ago. within the next. The body potential. That's when <coughs> Mr. Jones came. There was a couple board meetings ago. Uh, Mr. Jones gave us out of the $9 million that we have available come July 1, 2014, a body potential that we have. Um, he, as our bonding agent and per KDE in collaboration would give us the flexibility to use about a million dollars immediately for renovation to bring it up uh, to where it's adequate for our students today. Um, okay, that included yes. well, some work in the cafeteria. That's, that's correct. Now these two, these things can go at the same time, okay. uh, board, uh, meaning once we get a feasibility plan for an existing structure uh, for a gymnasium, which is our most um, it is an immediate need concerning bonding potential. Uh, I believe we can uh, address uh, our needs content-wise in the science uh, with what we have. I, I, I believe that. I think we can. Uh, if we're going to bond uh, also uh, for that new facility, we need to consider the bonding at the same time for uh, we have two existing facilities that need roofs. And the buildings have to have roofs. If we don't stop the leaks, uh, then we're going to be incurring a significant amount of expense in repairing the infrastructure of our buildings. So when we when we start talking about bonding, again, I want to impress upon the board, I'm very conservative in the bonding potential because I believe that the new high school facility is a three to five year uh, strategy or plan for our district. We, can, we have a need for a gymnasium.